Hello students, welcome to Sort of Search classes. Today the problem we are dealing with says f is a function from r to r given by fx equal to x cube minus 3x for all x belongs to r. What we need to find is the maximum value of fx on the set of real numbers which satisfies a given quadratic inequality. I say quadratic inequality because the inequality that we have is x to the 4 minus 13x square plus 36 less than equal to 0. So although it is a quartic inequality, the degree of x is 4, the highest degree, we can just replace x square by y to make it a quadratic inequality. Now we have y square minus 13y plus 36 is less than equal to 0. So it's an easy solution y square minus 4y minus 9y plus 36 is less than equal to 0. Just by doing a simple middle term factorization we get y minus 4 and y minus 9 is less than equal to 0. So if, bo if the product of two things has to be less than equal to 0, one of them has to be negative and one of them has to be positive. Now, suppose y minus 4 is negative which implies x squared is less than equal to 4. And suppose y plus 9, y minus 9 is positive, it means x squared is greater than equal to 9. Now, we can simply see that this can never happen. x square cannot be less than or equal to 4 as well as greater than or equal to 9 at the same time. So it has to be the other thing. This has to be positive and this has to be negative. So what we have is x square is greater than or equal to 4 and x square is less than or equal to 9 which implies x belongs to minus 3 minus 2 closed union 2 comma 3 so now what we have done is we have we have found out the set the set in which our x can lie the set from which we have to find the maximum value so x can either belong to minus 3 comma minus 2 closed or 2 comma 3 closed. Now let us draw a graph one, two, three, minus one, minus two, minus three. So we know x can belong here or here now let us check the derivative f prime x so since fx is equal to x cube minus 3x f prime x is equal to 3x square minus 3 now 3x square minus 3 greater than 0 implies x square greater than 1 which implies x is greater than 1 or x is less than minus 1. So in both these intervals minus 3 minus 2 as well as 2 comma 3 we see that fx is an increasing function for the simple reason that the derivative is positive so in our given intervals fx is an increasing function so we can easily see that if the function increases in this interval and it increases in this interval the maximum value can be reached only at this point or at this point so what we need to check is f of minus 2 and f of 3. So 
f of minus 2 is equal to minus 8 plus 6 which is equal to minus 2 and f of 3 is equal to 27 minus 9 which is equal to 18. So we clearly see that f of 3 is the greater value amongst the two and hence f of 3 is the maximum value. So 18 is the maximum value and A is your correct answer. Thank you.